Love is a miraculous gift, and a wedding is a celebration of that magic, and that is why we are here today. We are gathered together to share in the joy of Nicholas and Keeney, who are so wonderfully suited to one another and have decided to commit their lives to each other today. They are the promise of possibility and the expectation of joyful surprise. Marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives. Marriage is the acceptance of each other's differences and appreciation of each other's individuality that creates an understanding and trust. Where not only the joys and successes, but also the sorrows and disappointments can be shared. Nicholas and Keeney, you are about to embark on your next great adventure. Guided by kindness and trust, friendship and true love, you both have all the tools you need to have a long and happy life together. When I asked you both to describe your romance, you used the words fun, fearless, and balanced. You wrote about unconditional love and an easy sense of being with each other. May these special qualities be part of your relationship always. And as a community, may all of your friends and family gathered here today support you both in a lifetime of happiness. Keeney and I have been friends for seven years. Um, it all started with a random late night phone call from Keeney. She needed someone to accompany her to some party. Um, and instead, honestly, instead of inviting a good friend, she decided to call a random girl that she met. And I think we talked for less than five minutes. So she called me, and instead of thinking that that's a red flag, that she might be crazy, I said, sure. I don't know where I am, I don't so I got know into a stranger's car, we went to a party, and we felt like we knew each other all our lives. There are two sides to Keeney. One side is Keeney the adventurous, original, and energetic girl. Um, she's the most ener energetic girl you'll ever meet. She'll always be the life of the party. And everyone can't help but adore her quirky ways. If you're lucky enough, you'll get a chance to see my Keeney. And my Keeney is compassionate, patient, inspirational, and the person I just can't live without. And I thought it was strange you said everything changed. You felt as if you just woke up. And you said, this is the first day of my life. I want to say it's been such an honor to be Nick's friend and now be his best man. We've known each other for over 16 years now and as a freshman in high school certainly didn't imagine this is where I'd be today congratulating him on such a big event in his life. Nick and I and also our friend Danny were the Oakland A's Hammer Guys. But I'd rather be working for Thank you. Paycheck, Waving large cardboard signs at the Oakland A's games. Uh, these days, Nick's toned it down a little bit. Besides just wearing his high different. yellow socks and uh, green bowler to games, quietly sitting in the stands. But I think uh, Kenny's going to appreciate the, uh, the A's fandom in Nick and <laughs> to allow him to have something like Stomper at the wedding. Ha <laughs> ha 
No, I'm crying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. no, I don't feel like you are loving you. <laughs> then you're like, you know. Maybe I'm wrong dreaming of you. Dreaming the lonely night through. If it's a crime, then I'm guilty. Guilty of dreaming of you. First thing, you know, Nick is a passionate Oakland A's fan. In fact, he... Hey, go away! Anyway, he specifically picked this date to avoid conflict with any A's game here. And, to, yeah, so... So, one of the toasted items here is go, go A's and hopefully they win the pennant in the worst series. I want to thank the Chang family as far as now with Sweaty, we can now be a part of their family and we're looking forward to that and we really appre appreciate uh, all you have, you've done for us here. For Nick and Keeney, to your next phase in life, I, I hope it's full of fun things and happy things and that the two of you can do all this together hand in hand and, and really appreciate life. Cheers. A toast for, for the A's, for the Changs, and for Nick and Keeney. I can't believe how fast time has flown. It seems like just yesterday we were sitting on a bench at night, freezing, while looking over the Golden Gate Bridge. But from that day, I knew that you were special. I knew you were the one. You found, you found me at, when I was at one of the lowest points of my life, and you filled me up with love, laughter, and kindness. You showed, you showed up when I was least expecting you for accepting me for who I was despite how weird I could be. Uh, today, I give you all that I am and all that I have. I intend to love you, hold you, and grow with you. I vow to celebrate the joy of every day with you while standing by your side through life's most challenging moments. I promise to be patient, kind, and forgiving, to comfort you when you're my memo, to be by your side when, you're fa when you face the world, to be the most dependable person in your life, to never watch an episode of Doctor Who without you, 
and to keep yelling, uh, keep the yelling down when the A's win late at night and you're sleeping. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to always be your companion. For one life could never be enough. I choose you today and I choose you again tomorrow. I would always choose you for the day after and for every day for the rest of our lives. At this time, I invite the bride to share her vows with the groom. Um, the last time I saw Nick cry was at the um, McCarthy concert. So I just want uh, you guys to have a part of that experience. I'm glad he's, I'm the second reason he's willing to cry. <laughs> um, so these vows are way harder to write than you can imagine. Despite being pretty good at writing heartfelt cards to my, lo to my loved ones, writing this was oh so fun. So here goes. Nick, you know me so well. I'm sure nothing I say today will be new to you, but I feel so grateful to have this moment to share it in front of our friends and family as well. I have been searching for the answers about love for a long time, with hopes to get a hold on it and understand it. Since the engagement, I felt like it was even more urgent for me to find the right answer. While I was rattling my brain and going crazy to solve this puzzle, I stopped, took a moment to look at my life just as it is with you. And it hit me like a lightning bolt. It was clear. The answer has always been right here in front of me, waiting to be discovered. I knew you were the man I was going to marry, when I was willing to face my fears and dive into marriage. This is the ultimate and greatest adventure I could ever go on. I vow to always nurture, grow, and cultivate our relationship. I promise to honor, trust, and bring hope to us even when things seem unbearable. I vow that I will stay true and by your side no matter what comes our way. I promise to bring laughter and joy into our daily lives. I vow that I will love you for all that you were, you are, and all that you will become. You are the rock that keeps me grounded, the inspiration that fuels my creativity, the force that challenges my growth, and the reminder that kindness and generosity creates peace and compassion. I am a better person because of you, and I can't wait to tackle the world with you by my side. I knew Nick was perfect for Keeney. Um, before I even met him. My first impression of him was actually an email to her. Yes, I read all your emails. I had to make sure you weren't crazy. Um, he answered all her questions in an, except the email was organized, it was numbered, and it was graphically pleasing. Like, bolded and I think there was color and that's something I would have done and I knew that and I knew that he was the one when I found out that he hated or was scared of stickers because I knew that Keeney met his, her match with the quirkiness portion Stay cool. 
Nicholas Wong, do you take this person, Keeney Chang, to be your lawful wedded spouse? I do. Do you promise to love and comfort her, to honor her and keep her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her? I do. And Keeney Chang, do you take this person, Nicholas Wong, to be your lawful wedded spouse? I do. Do you promise to love and comfort him, to honor him and keep him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him? I do. Nicholas, as you place this ring on Keeney's finger, please repeat after me. Keeney, I give you this ring as a pledge of my constant faith and enduring love. With this ring, I take you as my wife. Keeney, as you place this ring on Nicholas's finger, please repeat after me. Nicholas, I give you this ring as a pledge of my constant faith and enduring love. With this ring, I take you as my husband. I love you both so much, and I'm here for you through anything, anything you need. And Keeney, you're, you're my soulmate. And now I have a soulmate husband. So congratulations to you both on finding each other and this beautiful wedding. So here's to a lifetime of health, happiness, and love. Cheers. Now that you have joined yourselves in solemn matrimony, may you strive all your lives to meet this commitment with the same love and devotion that you now possess. By the virtue of the authority vested in me as Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriages for the County of Alameda, I now pronounce you married under the laws of the State of California. Nicholas and Keeney, you may seal your love with a kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Wong. Quick story, I was living a few thousand miles away when uh, Nick and Keeney met. I vividly remember coming back to California to visit and going out to grab a bite to eat with Nick and he said at the last minute he wanted to bring along somebody special. And that was the first time I had the pleasure of meeting Keeney. And I could tell even then that there was a really special bond between the two of them and I think it's only blossomed since then. Nick's been a really great friend to me and uh, I think he's going to make an even better husband. So to Nick and Keeney.